गाइस वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आर्किट्यूबर आई एम आर्किटेक्ट वेबी एंड आई मेक कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू आर्किटेक्चर एंड इंटीरियर्स इफ यू आर न्यू हियर प्लीज टेक अ मोमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल बिलो अंटिल नाउ एज यू नो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट वन विच वॉज इंट्रोडक्शन एंड इन द पार्ट टू वी डिस्कस अबाउट द टेक्निकल टर्म्स एंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द बेसिक बिल्डिंग कंपोनेंट सो now we are going to be discussing everything in detail and depth so the first topic for that is foundation so we will be discussing one by one so in this lecture we are going to be discussing about the foundations this might be divided in two parts okay so one will be in the introduction part and the second part will have the different types of foundations and more detail okay so make sure to like subscribe to my channel so without wasting more time let's get into the video now let's start with the foundation lecture part 1 in which we are going to be discussing about the introduction of the foundations so st let's start so the basic definition foundation is the lowest part of the structure which provides the base for the superstructure properly this term includes the portion of the structure below the ground level as well as the artificial arrangement of the concrete blocks piles rap grillage etc to provide transmit the loads on the structure including the dead weight of the structure itself to the soil below so as you can see in the picture number 1 structure above the plinth level is known as superstructure and the structure below the plinth level is known as substructure or a foundation uh, which has the soil or a concrete bed so as you can see in the second picture this is a pad foundation uh, foundation are structures that supports the weight of a building or other structures and transfer it to the underlying soil or rock there are various types of foundation that are used depending on the soil conditions and the load of the structure let's learn more about foundations a structure essentially consists of two parts namely superstructure which is the above plinth level and the substructure which is below the plinth level we have discussed about this in the previous videos as well the substructure is otherwise known as foundation and this forms the base for any structure okay generally about 30% of the total construction is spent on the foundation the soil on which the foundation rests is called the foundation soil okay now let's discuss about the purpose of the foundation so the purpose of the foundation is to distribute the weight of the structure over large area so as to avoid overloading of the soil beneath okay to load the substratum evenly and thus prevent unequal settlement as you can see this line this is the equal settlement uniform settlement Uh, to provide a level surface for building operations to take structures deep into the ground and thus increase the stability preventing overturning to give enough stability to the structure against various forces such as wind and rain to prepare a proper level surface for concreting and masonry work okay now the considerations for foundations first is ground environment then the presence of water on the site then the load of the structure above large area space requirement for the foundation and settlement understanding the vibration and the noise levels of the ground factors affecting the design of foundation soil types and the ground water table condition structural requirements at foundations site conditions and environmental factors and economy benefits of a strong foundation when building a strong foundation firmness is everything more than just a plot house or about the soil it offers the following benefits it supports the building it repels the movement of soil beneath the building it offers protection against cold it prevents destruction of any sorts happening due to water or damp load settlements of foundation there are different types of loads okay there are load live load wind load inclined thrust and uplift water table and earthquake forces we will be discussing about the loads in a separate video but for the basic information dead load is something uh, like a roof you have your roof will always have a dead load on the beams and the columns and that will transmit to the substructure okay whereas live load such as uh, the forces like environmental forces like snow rain uh, then wind or the people or the furniture moving furniture will be your live load now let's discuss about the 
types of settlements there are two types of settlements like uniform and differential differential settlements must be minimized it depends on the soil condition and distribution of the loads on columns supporting the building requirements of a safe foundation structure foundation system safe against settlements that would lead to collapse foundation settlement should not damage the structure foundation must be technically and economically feasible now settlements of the foundation as you can see one being no settlement second is total settlement and third is differential settlement. so what is the difference between these three so in no settlement you can see the ground or the plot is uniform then in total settlement what the designer would have done is the undulations on the site has been cleared by uh, uniforming the site which will be used for the construction of the building okay and the differential settlement is something like you will have undulations on the site and um, you will have to design the building or the substructure accordingly uniform settlement is usually of little consequences in building and a differential settlement can cause severe structural damage to the building okay now site exploration for foundations the aim of site exploration is to get as much as information about the physical properties and the characteristics of underlying material at site as well as the details of other geological features of the area the study of the site exploration can be broadly subdivided into following group site inspection and preliminary investigation methods of site exploration depth and spacing of trial pits and bore holes choice of methods of exploration purpose of site exploration the aim of site exploration is to collect complete details of the site to enable the designer to take following decisions first one is to fix the value of the safe bearing capacity of soil we will discuss about the bearing capacity of soil uh, in a bit to select an economical yet safe type of foundation to fix the depth up to which the foundation must be taken inside the ground to predict the likely settlement of the selected foundation and to make allowance for the same in the design to keep the underground water level and if needed to decide upon the method to be adopted to solve the ground water problem to focus the difficulties which are likely to be encountered due to the nature of the subsoil during the construction and to take advance actions in this regard now the site inspection and preliminary investigation inspection on the site is the first step which should be taken prior to the design and the construction of any structure this includes study of nearby areas for construction purposes study of existing structures and if possible then the foundations of the existing structures the soil type whether so soil is soft hard marshy and waterlogged or made up of type classification of soil by visual examination behavior of the ground during the changes in the ground water level whether the rain gets drained off or causes the flooding of the site if there is likelihood of excessive movement of the ground whether the subsoil water contains sulfates or other chemicals in quantity sufficient to cause damage to the foundation okay there are different types of method so one is test pits like you can see in the second picture then probing substructure sounding boring geophysical method and the choices of methods are nature of ground topography and cost of exploration now coming to the bearing capacity of soil soil behaves in a complex manner when loaded the resistance to deformation of the soil depends upon the factors like water content bulky density angle of internal friction and the manner in which the load is applied on the soil okay the maximum load per unit area which is the soil on the rock can carry without yielding or displacement is termed as the bearing capacity of the soil okay when excessive load is transmitted to the soil by a structural foundation the settlement of the foundation takes place which can endanger the stability of the structure the various terms which are used in connection with the bearing capacities are summarized under ultimate bearing capacity of soil safe bearing capacity net pressure intensity allowable bearing capacity the methods for determining the bearing capacity of soil are plate load test method penetration test method and adopting safe bearing capacity values given in codes now let's discuss about the types of foundations 
so there are three types of foundations shallow foundation deep foundation and special foundation let's discuss about shallow foundation this is just the introduction of the shallow foundation we will be discussing about the shallow foundation in a separate video which will be in more detail which will have all these types of the footings and the foundations that we will discuss okay this is just the introduction of the shallow foundation shallow foundation are those foundation whose depth is less than or equals to the width of the foundation a shallow foundation is used for small construction like two or three story buildings temples or residences when the foundation is placed immediately beneath the lowest part of the superstructure is termed as shallow foundation the object of this type of foundation is to distribute the structural loads over a wide horizontal area at shallow depth below the ground level there are different types of shallow foundations such as spread footing eccentrically loaded footing mat on raft or raft on mat foundation grillage foundation and combined footings okay so these are the types and we will be discussing it in separate video now coming on to the deep foundation deep foundation is founded at the depth of the ground surface this foundation transfers the load from the surface areas which has weak soil or fills it in the strong or less compressed soils or rocky or rocks deeply it is expensive than shallow foundations and the process is very difficult it requires more skilled labors time consuming task as it is not flexible the most common forms of construction uh penetrating to deep foundations are piles coffer dams and caissons so we will be discussing again this deep foundations in detail in a separate video okay now the special foundations these are used when the soil conditions are extreme or when the structure needs to be built in an unusual location um examples including floating foundations underwater foundations and seismic isolation foundations okay so in the next video we will be discussing about the shallow foundation so stay tuned for that and i hope you like this video and if you do please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and share with your architecture civil friends and help them reach my videos okay and i'll be back with the next video very very soon till then take care and bye